walking in here with your players. You know, how cool oh. is it to see their, their reaction? You know, yeah. into it? Very exciting. Very exciting. I having a chance to be down here a week ago, seeing what it's all about, seeing what the experiences that they're going to have, uh, know that it's going to be uh, memories of a lifetime. Uh, is very excited. You could feel the energy on the bus coming here. You could feel it this morning when we met as a, as a team back in Buffalo. So very exciting time. What was the reaction in the team room when they found out all right, we're oh, going to the Bahamas? It was, uh, it was crazy. It was, it was what they were hoping for once we uh, really hit bowl eligibility and then uh, really solidified when we hit the seventh win that uh, this would be a place that uh, we we're hoping to be selected to be a part of. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to a great week. Is there, a, you know, obviously you were here for the game, but is there an activity outside of, outside of football you're excited for? You know, I don't know. You know, my family and I probably try to squeeze some time. I, I, I'm a dolphin lover, so I like to get over that way a little bit, a little bit of the, you know, get in, get in that water park area. Try to have a chance to look around. I try to make as mo most of it as we can. Um, probably more at an age, too, where you, you get a lot of enjoyment watching guys experience things that they've never had the chance to do and may never get a chance to do again. And I, I think that'll, that, that'll make this trip very fulfilling at the early part of the week and then uh, make sure we get focused, uh, you know, to play an excellent football, play against an excellent football team and, uh, you know, make this game as exciting as it has been in previous years. Obviously, we're, you're here for a game. How do you balance with the team? The, the <laughs> well, that's going to be, you know, we, we talk about it. It, it. It'll be challenging. We'll find out how well we do at that. Um, yeah, especially with this destination, you really have to try to balance it. And uh, but again, as it gets closer to, to kick off, um, you know, then we get back into more normal routines that we would. And um, you know, the layoff is one part. You don't you haven't played in a while, then you come to a place like that. Uh, these are all challenges that we've talked about, and hopefully our team will embrace and be ready to, to go out and play well. And National Signing Day, they're already carried. How do you adjust with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you throw another little wrinkle in there. Uh, you know, for us at least, thank goodness we're in the same time zone and we work through those things. And uh, obviously the obstacles maybe of the past aren't quite as much with today's technology and how we can do some things. Um, um, Rob Ionello, our recruiting coordinator, our recruiting staff, Grant Murray, Tim Silvernail, done an outstanding job. I think we have some things lined up. Uh, and, and plan B's if things don't, don't happen as far as any glitches technology-wise. But uh, we're, we're going to try to get everybody locked in inside before we, before we head to practice.